FinalAudit.com. You know, over the commercial break, Doctor, uh, I was thinking about what you and I had been discussing about how certain countries uh, will actually harbor the Nazis. And I can't we look at the Nazis as terrorists from the past and should they not be treated with the same worldwide attention and the same worldwide care as the present day terrorists are i definitely subscribe to that view unfortunately international politics does not work that Uh. way and a great pity that it doesn't because politics is really the politics of expedience Mm -hmm. Uh, the countries that welcome them in either had religious sympathies with them, they either had uh, philosophical sympathies with this uh, Nietzschean philosophy of the heron folk, um, and of course, uh, in the case of other countries that, that wanted the intellectual capital that they could bring with them. So I think you're really dealing here, Rob, with the innate failings mm. of the human race. I, I, Man I... is terribly fragile. I agree with you, sir, because when we're talking about the countries that allowed the men on uh, for the cause of religious sympathies, uh, it seems that they forgot one of the Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not kill. Well, you know, in my book, I even name the Catholic bishops that actually actively assisted Hmm. in setting up the rat line to make quite sure that safe passage was given to them and that they were received by other bishops on the other side and, and, and given safe havens. Unreal. Doctor, the time is uh, running very fast. What would you like to leave the members of the Exxon Nation worldwide with tonight, sir? I, uh, I think that uh, um, I would like to perhaps give them the thought as to why I think the book would appeal to them. I think the final audit will offer lessons in life uh, that will enrich their lives. I think it will be a cause Mm -hmm. for them to uh, consider and reevaluate how they live their life, perhaps consider the type of philosophy that they might uh, want to pass on to those who are near and dear to them. I think the book will appeal to those looking for escapism in the form of a riveting story, as well as the more serious reader who will appreciate the historical and artistic relevance, as well as the innate philosophy that develops as the book progresses. And uh, conceptually, the book in some ways might even be compared to Gulliver's Travels, which is read by children as an entertaining novel and by adults who understand the satire and the deeper messages and innuendos with regard to Jonathan Swift's uh, uh, commentary on human behavior. Doctor, I want to thank you ever so much for joining us. Congratulations on a, on a great book, and I look forward to the next time you and I meet here in the Exxon, sir. So until then, take care of yourself, and thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Good night. Good night, sir. Exxon Nation, Dr. Carney Madison has been my guest. He is the author of The Final Audit. It's available at www.thefinalaudit.com. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break at six and a half minutes past the hour as we continue from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't forget the Exxon News website, www.exxonnews.com. And if you'd like to read the X Chronicles newspaper with the compliments of our fine advertisers, www.xchronicles-newspaper.com. I'll be back after the news. Don't go away.